Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to back up your Windows 8 computer. Now in order to do that we're going to go ahead and access the control panel. Now as you can see I already have a shortcut of the control panel on my desktop but if you don't have it you can go ahead and take the pointer go all the way to the top right corner and access the charms. Let's go ahead and do a left click on search within the charms and scroll all the way over to where it says uh, Windows System and under Windows System you're going to see control panel right here so let's go ahead and do a left click to open it up now once we have it open we're going to want to go under system and security now you want to make sure you're under the category view because some of you may be under the uh, other views here which has li large icons or small icons make sure you're under category view to get this option here so let's go ahead and click do a left click on system and security and scroll all the way down or look all the way down to where it says file history right here where it says save backup copies of your files within uh, uh, with file history go ahead and do a left click and all the way on the bottom uh, left corner of our screen where it says Windows 7 file recovery let's go ahead and do a left click there and here is where we have the option to set up our backup as you can see right now um, it, nothing is set up so let's go ahead and do a left click on setup backup that's going to bring the options on to what device we want to back it up onto now these this uh, D drive and this this is my uh, CD DVD uh, drive here my D drive is my hard drive what this is here is actually an external uh, hard drive so I highly recommend uh, having an external uh, hard drive to have a backup because you want to have a backup externally off your computer if there's important files on your computer you know a lot of people don't back up their files they end up losing it and then it costs tons and tons of money to get it back and get it recovered so right here I have my external hard drive I have it highlighted go ahead and hit next the option I, I recommend using is let me choose um, you can go ahead and let Windows choose but that's going to back up everything so let's go ahead and in this instant we only want to back up our documents so go ahead and do let me choose just in this example click next and as you can see all the data files are, are checked let's just go ahead and uncheck here and uncheck here and click on this little triangle here on the left side and we only want our documents library backed up in this example so let's go ahead and uncheck everything else we don't want and at the bottom here it also has an option to do a system image now a system image is basically a clone of what your computer is right now you know everything all the settings and files and everything on your computer even the uh, the operating system will be included within the system image as you can see here it says a system image is a copy of the drives required for windows to run you can use it to restore your computer if it stops working so it's up to you whether you want to do this but it's going to require a lot more space so for this example we're just going to go ahead and uncheck it because we only want to back up our documents so go ahead and do, uh, click next as you can see here our documents are the only thing we want to back up and we can go ahead and click uh, save settings and run backup and as you can see the system automatically is going to make our backup run every Sunday at 7 p.m. you can go ahead and do change schedule and you can you can change it here to where you can do it weekly um, what day and also what time so you know I'm a type of person that I don't save stuff often so I'm gonna go ahead and just choose monthly you can do daily weekly or monthly so monthly and on what day you can choose whatever day you want and then you can choose whatever time you got want you get the gist of it so that's how you change your schedule there um, but it by default it just puts it there so once I sit, save settings and run backup it's gonna go ahead and back up uh, my documents library onto my external hard drive like I said I recommend backing up your documents it's very important if you don't back it up, I mean if it's if there's something on your computer that's important back it up whether you back it up to a disk a USB flash drive or an external hard drive just make sure to do it it's just it's just it's common sense so go ahead and hit cancel here to just back out So that's how you back up your uh, Windows 8 computer guys that does conclude this tutorial I do uh, thank you guys for watching and I appreciate your time